So before we get into the practical demo, I would just like to explain to you about the seed for business in an African context. So whatever we are doing here is not only for this community. We are going to share it as well with other communities. Because as you know as well that in Africa, yes, we have different seasons. But we have a lot of farmers and a lot of regions in Africa that are almost getting into their planting season right now. So we want to give a few tips that are kind of universal, that might just cover a guide to other people as well who are farming across other regions. Being an African seed company, it means that we have a footprint in African countries and counting because we are still spreading our tentacles. So today we are excited to be joined by the strategic group, strategic marketing director, Patrick Spadin. We are also joined by the group product development manager, Ed Moma Kutuya. So they are going to give a few insights where they see fit. But I'm going to explain to you the importance of such gatherings and such planting meetings where practicalization of agriculture is being done and our farmers are getting an opportunity to learn as much as they can about what they should do at planting. We are in Dombo Shava, in Mashonaland East Province, in whichever region by the seasonal focus, particularly if you are a 100% rain-fed farmer. And in Zimbabwe, 80% of our farmers are small-scale farmers. Of those, we have a percentage with limited irrigation on gardens and small plots, but most of them rely on rainfall for their cropping. Even the commercial farmers still dedicate a certain plot or certain areas of their fields to dryland farming, which is why the seasonal focus is very important. Having said that, every farmer should be prepared well ahead of the season, which is why we had our farmer here explaining the importance of the land preparation that she did here on time when she started around May, around June, to do her land preparation, the digging of the holes, the collection of the mulch, the preparation of the compost, which she also does here at her farm. So it's important for you to do things timelessly because agriculture is a time-sensitive business. And with that said, we now want to talk about what you need to do in terms of your land preparation. You need to make sure that you are guided by the resource or endowment that you have at your particular farm. Okay, so as we proceed, we just want to do a practical demonstration of planting. So it's very important that you understand that it does start with the right seed. But you need to employ good agronomic practices to unlock the genetic potential of the right seed that you will have started with. So at this point, we want to show you that when you are planting, this is what you're supposed to do. So in Zimbabwe, we have a concept that we are moving with, which is a conservation farming concept called Fumvuza, which is a conservation farming method which is structured in terms of the size of the plot, the number of holes that the farmer should have in a plot, the, pl the size of the hole that